Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jeff Grayson. This is for my CIS 110 video blog assignment for Miss Gentile. And today I'm going to talk about some public speaking stuff. Alright, so I feel myself that I'm an effective public speaker. I never really get all that nervous. I mean, it all depends upon my preparation, my, you know, how well I know the information going in. But usually if I know it well, I'm not all that nervous. I can talk in front of people pretty well. This right here, this is like, this is kind of new. I've never done anything like this when I'm videotaping myself. I'm constantly looking at myself right now doing this presentation. But, I mean, it's it's fine. It's not too bad of a change. But um, I've done a lot of different types of speaking in the past. Like, I've done informative, persuasive, like, empathy speeches. And within that, like, you know, I've done, like, how-to speeches, like, historical events, informative speeches, management. Like, I did one thing on management analysis a few years ago, which is very similar to the assignment we're about to do right now. It's just like a, you know, um, like, a, like a profession. Like, you pick a profession or a major and you go and talk about it. I mean, it's, it's, it wasn't too bad either back in the day. But, um... Everything I've ever done was in a classroom setting. You know, I do one per two per year in high school, and it wasn't really all that bad. You know, I know everybody. It's like everybody's supporting you. It's all been pretty nice. I don't know. I I just uh, took the PS what, P R P S A a couple minutes ago. We just finished that. Uh, finished that up. Excuse me. And I scored a hundred even, which I guess is a moderate level of anxiety when giving speeches, but it's on the low side. I'm not really too surprised with that because, I mean, I feel like I'm a decent public speaker. I don't have all that many problems, but then again, I'm just like everybody else to where, you know, I, I'm nervous a little bit before, during, I'm pretty nervous. But afterwards, I'm fine. I don't feel like it's the end of the world or anything. I know people are like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was about to die during that speech or waiting in the anticipation for that speech, but really I'm not too much that way. I mean, I can get through it pretty well. But uh, the only, like a couple of people have talked to me in the past about how I speak to people, like things I say to them. Like I mean, in my speech, like how like I present. And really, the only thing I've ever said to me besides, you know, I stutter sometimes. That's one thing. But another thing is how I'm so like stiff when I'm presenting, and I don't really mean to do it. It's more of just a natural thing kind of who I am, like sometimes I like I have my arms sticking out to the side like real stiffly or something like that, just some things like that and then I'll have like hand gestures that they would call distracting now I'm going like, I'm going like this, doing all this stuff but it really just doesn't, it, for me it doesn't, it's not effective in giving my speech, it's more distracting and it's harder for me to relate whatever information I'm trying to give to the audience and that's really just kind of nothing like nothing too good and my nonverbals definitely need to increase and doing this video right now you know, it's kind of hard you see the upper half of my body you know I could be wearing sweatpants something you don't know what I'm wearing you don't know what my hands are doing over here but I mean it's all right you'll get to see the full full deal on I guess next Friday is when I'll be doing my speech but hopefully by then I can get my like some more practice get my nonverbals down you know get my body language going to where Next time I'm presenting, I'm not distracting, and they're more of an asset for me when I'm trying to relay this information. But anyways, that's about four minutes, I think, so I'll see you all later.